Hey what is up guys this is the Mimation and welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make an intro with the video copilot shockwave and just a simple texture file like this. Alright let's get started. So firstly we want to start a new composition. Alright then we want to make it um let's make it HDTV uh, nine frames all right then we'll aim for about five seconds because that's the best count intro length and there you go so the way how we're going to do this is actually by layering the shockwaves over each other so first off I'll start with layer 8 shockwave 8 basically it just bursts out like that like whoa okay maybe then we add 11 it spreads outwards so you can actually have your name like go across here at the same time when it explodes like same amount then for 12 it's just another layering yeah just like that all right so then you layer it like this this one go off this one go off video go pilot and use color vibrance. All the link, the link to downloading this tree, all these assets, and the tutorial file will be in the description. And to buy the shockwave, all the shockwaves, video compiler shockwaves, is will be linked in the description below. And also, if you want a tutorial on how to make these color textures, just ask in the comments. All right, so let's get started. Maybe I want a reference file. For my colors, so I'll just kill this sound. Right, so it looks amazing. Now maybe I want this color here. No, I want a bit like bit thicker like this. So basically, if that thing it does, whoa, it looks so cool, right? Yeah. Next, you would want to have an alpha on, but only for this two. Or else you can't see the previous layer, the layer down here, see? And yeah, you can't see. So then, you do the same thing, right here. Maybe you can choose a bit brighter. Colors, there you go, on. Format on, shockwave 11, same thing. Right over here. You are need for much darker blue. Right? On. There you go. So now when it explodes out, it's supposed to explode out by still exploding out. Hmm. Alright. See, it, the colors doesn't match. So then you want to maybe tweak it a bit. We are on a bit. Blue. Sweet. Yeah, and then for this one, maybe I'll include, I'll decrease the brightness. And for this, I'll increase the brightness. Right. There you go. But then at the okay, so now at the start of the composition, it doesn't look really that good, right? Like this. So what I will do is usually just bring up T, select these two, press T. You bring up the opacity, keyframe these two, drag all to zero, shift page down, drag to 100. So now you just fade in. You just fade in, like so. Yeah. Okay. Next, we want to have our text layer. Basically, your name. So. Put it intro, you can have any kind. If I point, move it to the middle. Alright. Make someone skew this up. Move anchor point in the middle. Yeah, align, alright. Maybe a bit smaller. Yeah, a bit smaller work. So now if it explodes out. It's not loading. Yeah, basically like that. 
Now you can just stop here or you can give these words a uh, texture. So if you want to do that, do alpha mat. I mean, boomer mat, I think. Oh, wait. Alright, so I think it's this way around. Alpha mat. Oh, boomer mat. I think I mixed it up. Alpha mat. Ah, there we go. Yeah, but doesn't look so good, so I'll just move this down. It'll be brighter. Towards the top. Like so. Maybe a little bit down. Okay, there we go. Looks quite nice already. So, then I want to add a glow. Just a simple glow. Oh, too bright. Oh, hold on. The other way around. Maybe about this glow, and you have the radius a bit smaller. You have the intensity a bit lower because it should be really that bright. And there you go. Now, I'm going to animate this, right? So let's pick a time over here where the this shockwave here actually explodes outwards, like explodes right here and here. Okay. So then it's around here. So then next we want to draw a mask. Uh, align it here, okay. Then let's move it here, mass expansion, zero. Just below, just when it disappears. Alright. Okay, around here, so the whole world will come out. Oh no. Um, alright. I just I should draw this bit bigger. So now it should go like that. But here doesn't go all the way, so just no. I think we, can de we should delete this mask and just redraw. Okay. Then again, suspension. Just cancel this out. Around here, where the thing starts losing its speed. Here. Right around here, the thing starts to fade off, so that's where we just spend the whole mask out. Maybe the intro is a bit too small. Okay, so yeah. Alright, so then now we want to easy ease this. Go graph editor. Just drag this in the woods. And we got a good intro right now. Now we can stop here. But I want to continue. So we go here. Uh, we call this we call this pre-composition. Uh, Ctrl Shift C or select everything layer pre-compose. So you just call this um what should we call it? I'll just call it layer one. Alright. To make it looks professional, we can have a circle here.
We have a circle around here. So then, see what we want to achieve is like that. Spans all the way. And you just cross back in. Now you get what I mean. Just control Y. So we can see the background. So you can like that, see? So we want to animate this plus expansion. Just all the way until you can see the thing go down 20 frames oh wow okay 25 expands all the way Hold on, I think I messed up somewhere. Oh, nine six zero by five four zero. There you go. Mass expansion, just increase all the way. Plays true, very nice. When the thing starts to fade out, ah, uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five. Keyframe that. One, two. At the end, there's this dual minus. How about? Right, there you go. So I select this too. Um, easy, easy. Then we want this. Gain speed over time. This too. To us to slow down in speed, I think. So then we just do a quick uh, preview. Okay, I think for text layer, we should have made it a bit slower. Yeah, like that. So when we go into here, You look very nice, professional. And then, when the words are done, the thing will close off on its own. So, yeah. But maybe we should do a little bit more, and maybe we should just feather it, feather the words a bit. You know what I mean? Like, just like that. Alright, so we'll just add motion blur. Yeah, add motion blur to everything here. Okay, and then uh, maybe one panning, alright? So, if you just call it layer before. Oh, actually, we should do it. In this layer here right so that we want the words these two to be 
decomposition so we call this text layer okay it's a 3d camera then we need a 3d camera yeah should be good enough Just let the thing load up. Uh, just layer three D. All right. Oh no. Okay. So then. You can make it now. layer parent this to this make this 3 3d layer in the position we move back on the z-axis this back a little all right so text layer will have a bit more depth so around here I want my camera start panning so keep the position on now keep position be around here like that wow really cool yep we just move this in 3d space so it's like maybe we shouldn't done this looks quite good it's very solid so next we just delete this save our project and there you go now I'll render this out and just yep that is all guys this is the animation hope you've enjoyed this video and thumbs up if you want another tutorial take care bye bye